Right, this afternoon here, just before the A-grade game, we've got uh, Neb Peebles, coach of the Longreach A-grade side, and Peter Fickling, team manager for Longreach. Uh, Neville, how do you reckon your side will go today in their first fixture game for the 86 season? Well, they're going out to try and win it, all right? Right, they had a run last week against uh, Ewenden, was it? Yeah, Ewenden, yeah. They beat Ewenden quite comfortably? Oh, it wasn't too much bloody comfort out there, wasn't Frank. too much comfort. Rugged, yeah. uh, any stars in your side, Nev? No, just a team. Just a team. A team effort that won last week? Yeah, no that's stars? What, that's what we're looking for again today. Going out to play team football? Team football, yeah. Right, you've got a couple of imports there. I believe a centre called Neil Wharton played for South in Brisbane, didn't play last week. Is he having a run this week? Yeah, Neil's in the side. Uh, he's got the score on the board. Good, foot, good talent at football. Yeah, he's and been at it. Also an ex-Yapoon footballer, Jeff Hanson, in your front row. Uh, yeah. He had a run last week? Yeah, it went well. Jeff is a good ball playing for he's been around the taps he knows what it's all about that's very good well Neville Peter anything you'd like to say about uh, today's game I think it's a good hard game Frank uh, um, uh, a good hard game good to see a lot of supporters here uh, yeah Frank you know when you look I haven't seen so many gaps filled for years uh, it's really good good days of football Frank no well, I wish you both luck and your team luck in today's game against Park Alden for the first game of the 1986 season thank you Frank Neville thank you, Frank. Peter next season we've got the Park Alden coach Roy Costello here uh, Roy you've only been here in the west a couple of weeks how's your team running oh they aren't too bad Frank uh, it's all new to me I haven't seen any of them play yet I haven't seen any of the opposition play but, uh, you know, they tell me they've got a lot of um, talent here, so I'm expecting big things from them. Right? right, you're going out there today, no doubt, to play as a team effort. First game of the season, hoping for two points on the board. Yes, yes, that's, that's our main aim today. Um, you know, uh, as long as we play as a team, I think we'll have a fair say, you know. I think as long as we've got one game on the belt. No stars, no imports in your side except yourself. No, no, all, all, all length, length, uh, length. You look like you're getting a bit long in the teeth yourself. Very uh, I won't ask any secrets. Long but, in the uh, teeth, mate, but, uh, anyway, Roy, all the best for the game, for the 86 season with both. Right, for the start of the 1986 uh, Rugby League season uh, in Central West today, we got the Bar Calden Showgrounds, we've got Bar Calden and Longreach. The reserve grade, David, was won by Longreach, 42 points to 10. We see the Bar Calden side now running out, led by their captain coach in number 20 jersey, Roy Costello from McKay. The Bar Calden side is one, Brett Williams, two, Darren Searles, three, Pat Arthur, four, Jeff Rafter, five, John Anderson, Six, Peter Blucher. Seven, Phil Burley. Eight, Lyle Borlison. Nine, Greg Wilson. Ten, Tommy Mott. Eleven, uh, twelve, Graham Lawrence. Thirteen, David Kerrigan. In seventeen, Jersey was Wilson. In nineteen, Jersey, Joe Farmer. Eighteen is David Thompson. And eleven should be Peter Maloney. I didn't mention when I run through the team, number twenty is Roy Costello, the captain coach of Bar Calden, the Longreach side. Fullback number one Steve Searles, two Rob Setter, three Steve Hart, four Neil Wharton, five Mick Bishel, six Ross Peoples, captain, seven Mark Davies, eight David Peoples, nine is Alf Jackson, ten Noel Hart, eleven Peter Schultz, twelve is Paul Davies and thirteen Jeff Hanson. Longridge reserves Billy Payton, Bill Bolke, Greg Clark, Mark Dixon, S. Walsh, B. Britton and Ross Gresheimer. Your referee today, Mr. David Thompson, with your linesman Phil Mitchell and Rob Butt. Looks like Bar Calden have 
Rip won the toss and elect to defend the hospital end while Longridge will defend the race course end. Longridge to put the ball into play. Looked like Neil Ward in the Longridge Centre to uh, commence play here. Right, we see the game about to get underway. We've, Wharton puts the ball deep into Bar Calden Territory. Back there under it is uh, Lyle Ballison. He runs it up to the 22 metre before he's put down by... Underneath was the Longreach lock, uh, Dave Peoples. He gets up and plays it back. The ball comes up. Played back to Graham Lawrence. He gets it away to Kerrigan. Kerrigan makes a few metres before he's set up on again by the Longreach lock in Peoples. He gets it back to Rafter. Rafter puts boot the ball across field to Michael Bishel, the long reach hooker. Uh, winger, he misses. Picked up by John Anderson. John Anderson sneaking away to the try lot. He's got plenty half of our party, but there it is. The first, first try of the match in opening minute, scored wide out by John Anderson. Number five. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a penalty to Longridge. Apparently the Anderson must have been in front of the kicker then when he kicked the ball. Uh, so I'll have to take back all that excitement. Uh, apparently uh, Anderson must have been in front of the kicker when Rafter kicked that ball through. I'd like to have a look at that one on replay. I wasn't watching Anderson at the time. I was busy watching Rafter kick the ball. So the first penalty of the match has gone to Longridge on the halfway line. Whit Wharton kicks for touch on the outer... Touch line, it doesn't find touch. Williams takes it in his own in goal, runs it out. He runs out about eight or ten metres, and he's put down. He'll get up and play the ball back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets gets it out to Lyle Ballison. He'll get up and play the ball. He plays it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it on to Coach Costello. Costello throws a shocking pass, dived on by Peoples, missed by Peoples, picked up by Paddy Arthur, but a knock on both ways. Now we'll see the first scrum of the match about 20 metres out, right in front of the Bar Calden try line. Longridge ball to the scrum, it's uh, won by Longridge. A penalty to Bar Calden from that scrum. And Davies didn't retire. Here's the first penalty of the game. Jeffrey Rafter to kick for touch on the greenstand side. Makes no mistake, he doesn't gain much ground, only three or four yards, but just inside the 22 metre line, Bar called him to take the second kick. Lawrence is up to take it. He takes it, he gets the ball away to Ballison. Ballison runs up eight or ten metres. He's put down by Hanson over the top. He'll get up and play it. He plays it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it away to Costello. Costello gets it on to Coco Wilson. He stops one a bit high by Peoples. He gets up and plays it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it away. Comes out to Tommy Mott through Costello. Mott's put down just in by called and territory. He gets up and plays it back to Searles. Searles decides to go on his own. He gets to just over the halfway line before he's put down by Peoples underneath. Over the top was uh, Noly Hart. Right. A knock on by called and Still have the ball on the last tackle. Lyle Ballison gets up, plays it back to Jeffrey Rafter. Jeffrey Rafter decides to kick ahead again. Ball goes high and wide to Michael Bishel. Bishel misses, picked up by Anderson. Anderson makes a break inside. Gets the, he's tackled about one metre out. 
He gets up, plays it back to Jeffrey Rafter. Jeffrey Rafter gets it away to the halfback and through Bailey. Bailey's tackled. He'll get up and play it back to Graham Lawrence. Graham Lawrence plays it to Kerrigan. Kerrigan's tackled about five meters out. Battle lines away to Coco Wilson. Coco Wilson sees the line, gets it away to Brett Williams. Brett Williams drops the ball with the line wide open. They will have a scrum about five metres out from Longridge trail line. Davies to feed this scrum. He's getting a bit rough in the front row there by the look of it. They back up into a few slugging punches. She's on bright and early in this one. She's on bright and early. We're pulling blokes away everywhere here. Kerrigan's got uh, Jeff Hansen down on the ground, but Hansen gets back to his feet. It looks like we could have a bit of fireworks in the front row today between Hansen and Kerrigan. They're both pretty solid little boys. Longridge ball in, the ball comes straight out to Long. We'll have it in again, it's in. The... Picked up by Barcold and Bailey does it. He's, he's tackled about eight metres out. He'll get up and play the ball. He plays it back to William, standing wide, blue chip. Wilson, Coco Wilson, he's tackled about five metres out after Rafter took the tap. I thought Barkle and the silly, they should have taken two points there. It's Jeffrey Rafter steps away from one, he steps away from two, he gets the ball away to Graham Lawrence, he's tackled about one metre out. He'll get up and play it back to Rafter. Rafter throws it to no one, it's picked up by a long reach player in, uh, looks like Noddy Hart. He gets up and plays it back to Neil Wharton. Neil Wharton's quickly set upon by... Graham Lawrence and Lyle Bullis, and he plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it way to his brother David Peoples. David Peoples has tackled about 12 metres out from the Longreach try line. He'll get up and play it back to the hooker in Davies. A free kick to Longreach. Bark called and up inside the five, well up inside Kerrigan. So we'll see a penalty go to Longreach for Bark called and offside. Right on the 22 metre line, Longreach end of the ground. Wharton kicks for touch. He finds touch too on the grandstand touch line, about 10 metres in Longreach territory. Gets the ball to Setter to take the second kick. He takes the second kick. He's tackled by Searles right on the halfway line. Steps out of the tackle, but he's quickly picked up by Coco Wilson. Wilson gets up to play it back to Stevie Hart. Stevie Hart knocks it on as he goes to pick it up, so we'll see a scrum go down right on the halfway line, about 10 metres in from the grandstand touch line. And Burley to feed this scrum for Bar Calden. Burley puts it in, but Longreach take it out, Davies takes it out, gets it away to his 5'8 Peoples. Peoples gets a pass on to Wharton. Wharton gets it away to Stevie Hart. Stevie Hart gets it away to Bishel. Bishel gets it back inside to Wharton. Wharton's flying for the corner and scores right out on the uh, outer side of the field. After about eight minutes of play, it's uh, Longreach four, Bar called a nil. Right, Wharton has this ball set on the 22 metre line, about three metres in for touch. Puts boot to ball. It looks pretty good from here, but it's waved away, away to the right of the upright. They have Longreach lead, four points to nil after about eight minutes of play in the first half.
Jeffrey Rafter to put this ball back into play for Bar Calden. Get the ball placed on the halfway line. Clock's not going. Bleacher puts the ball into play and it's taken by uh, People to Longreach Lock. He's tackled by Mott and Costello. He'll get up and play the ball about 20 metres out from his own try line. He plays it back to Davies. Davies gets it away to the second row and Alf Jackson. Jackson makes it up to the 22 metre line before he's settled on. He'll get up and play it back to the hook of Davies. Davies plays away to his brother Davies. He gets it away to Jeff Hanson. Jeff Hanson gets it back behind him to... Uh, Wharton, Wharton kicks downfield and the ball goes into touch about 27 metres out from the try line. Well, see a scrum pack down 10 metres in from touch on the grandstand side about 27 metres out from Bar Callan try line. It's Burley to feed this scrum. Burley puts it in, Burley should take it out, yes he takes it out. And he's set up on by Peoples in the front row in uh, Peter Schultz. He gets up and plays it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it away to Coco Wilson. Coco Wilson makes about four metres before he's tackled. He gets up and plays away to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it away to Costello. Costello short pass to Kerrigan. Kerrigan's quickly put down. He get up, play it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it away to Noel, Lyle Borlison. Lyle Borlison makes a few metres. He's held up there by the second row of Noel Hart. He'd get up and play it back to Graham Lawrence, away to Burley, on to Peter Blucher. Blucher gets the ball away to Rafter. Rafter puts it down. It's quickly picked up by Michael Bishel, the winger. He's put down right in centre field. He'll get up and play it back now to Davies. Davies plays it away to Hanson. Hanson quickly set up on by Mott, but missed Peoples. Ross Peoples, that is, puts Bert the ball and go back for his Searles. Searles runs it across field. And he runs around one, around two. He's still going, Searles. He makes it, gets it away to John Anderson on the far wing. Anderson coming up the cover defence, coming across in the shape of the fullback. Anderson made about 20, or oh, about 30 metres of that run after getting the ball from Searles. Goes to Costello, back onto Kerrigan through Rafter. Kerrigan's put down about 27 metres out from the Longridge try line. He blows it back to Burley. A free kick to Bar called and Longridge up inside the five. Surely they'll take the two points this time. They should have taken them last time. Now, apparently Costello is a great believer in kicking for touch, so it'll be four points gone begging for Bar Call to now through two penalties right in front. Costello kicks for touch. He finds touch to about ten metres out from the long reach try line. Ball goes to Searles. He gives it inside to Lawrence to take the second kick. Lawrence takes the tap, he gets it away to Mott. Mott runs straight into the Longreach defence and he's quickly put to the ground about five metres out. He gets up to play it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it on to Costello. Costello doesn't make any ground at all before he's put down. He'll get up and play it back to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it on to Burley. Burley stands up in the tackle, gets the ball away to Rafter. It's knocked down by Longreach, dived on by Longreach and number 11, uh, Peter Schultz. He'll play the ball about half a metre out from his try line. Plays it back to the winger in Setter. Setter doesn't make any ground either before he's put down by Graham Lawrence. He get up and play it back. He plays it to Elf Jackson. Elf Jackson put in about five metres out on the fourth tackle. He'll get up now and play it back to the half back in Davies. Davies gets it away to Hanson. Hanson set up on there by Lyle Ballis and Coco Wilson. He's held up there in the middle. Plays it to Ross Peoples. Ross Peoples to Wharton. Wharton. Gets it away, apparently he ruled that he must have been uh, committed to the tackle, but I would have thought a late tackle. But anyway, the game goes on. Tommy Mott's held up with the ball over there. He plays it back to Searles. Searles gets it away to Lyle Borlison. Lyle Borlison's tackled by Ross Pe uh, Dave Peoples over the top. Underneath was uh, 
the halfback and Mark Davies. He gets up, plays it back to Costello. Costello gets the ball away to Kerrigan. Kerrigan runs straight into Noddy Hart and uh, Dave Peoples. He plays it back, goes on to Burley, on to Bleacher, on to Rafter, on to Brett Williams into the line. Brett Williams drops the ball. It's knocked on by Bar Calden, finally picked up by Longreach, but the referee's going to play the knock on on Bar, Bar Calden. like Lyle Baller from the bar called and locked down on the ground. It's only a boot off. I think he's only playing for time. Graham Lawrence, uh, the hooker, he thought he'd have a lie down at the same time to make the referee pull up the game. Uh, here we come, the first female ambulance man in bar called and trotting out with a big box. He'll have to get a little boy to help her if she keeps this up all day. Oh, we've got the physiotherapist out there too. She might be going to give him a rub up. Probably dart would jump up and kiss them both if he knew who they were. Out of this first time, Hamlet Car one. No, he doesn't, he's not going to go off. He reckons he's going to stop there with bandages and all around his forehead. Uh, he's going to stop there. He doesn't want to go off. I'm going to go into this scrum with a bandage around his head. Wes Wilson uh, loosening up over on the sideline. He's uh, the centre, I thought, and he's loosening up to replace a, uh, a hooker, so I don't know what they'll do with their pack if this goes on. Uh, probably bring Jeffrey Rafter into the forwards. Longridge ball in, Longridge ball out. Straight out, said the referee. We'll have it again. Pack the scrum again, the ball goes in, it's taken out by Longridge, penalty to Bar Call, and there's another one. Will he take the two points this time? Uh, he's had uh, three opportunities to take two points, and once again he's not going to take them. This could be mean the difference at the end of the game, these easy two points uh, right in front. Costello kicks for touch on the ball goes out in the 22 metre line. Uh, Lawrence to take the second kick. He takes the kick, uh, gets it away to Tommy Mott again. Mott straight up the middle. He runs into uh, Schultz, and he's tackled there, and the ball pinched off. He's pinched out of him while he's on the ground by the hooker, Davey. So another free kick to Bar Calden. Costello looks like he's finally going to take two points. Uh, this is the fourth penalty within kicking distance to Bar Calden in 15 minutes of the game and finally Costello has decided, well, we'll have a go at two points. Now here's the sand boy, he's finally woke up after three or four calls, he's running out there with his little bucket. Could be two. A sand person. <laughs> we have sand boys and sand girls. I'm not sure about this one, so we'll say it's a sand person. And 
Bleach is setting this ball probably about 10 metres outside the uh, right end upright and about 20 metres out from the uh, try line. He moves back his three or four paces. Was a pretty reliable kicker, Peter. I don't know how he'll go first up in the season, but he moves in. Puts boot to ball. Should be two points. Yes, it's over. So Longridge lead four points to two after 15 minutes in the first half. Neil Wharton takes the ball up and places it for the kickoff. Kicking the grandstand side, a low long kick to Ballison. Ballison takes it well on his own 22 metre line. He runs up, runs around one tackle. He's held up there by Noddy Hart and Dave Peoples. He'll play the ball back to Rafter on the 22 metre line. He gets up, plays it back to Rafter. Rafter gets it away to Tommy Mott. Tommy Mott runs straight ahead, runs into David Peoples. Uh, he gets up to play it back, plays it to Rafter. Rafter gets it across to Burley. Burley gets it on to Costello, running out wide. Costello's put down. He plays it back to Rafter. Rafter to Burley. Burley gets it out wide again to... Looks like Wes Wilson might have come on the field to, to replace Dardle Lawrence. So uh, Jeffrey Raft is now going to go from centre to pack in at hooker and uh, Wil Wilson will be playing in the centres in Rafter's place so not a bad move from uh, centre to uh, hooker. Pretty versatile football and pretty good footballer Jeffrey Rafter so I don't think the change of position will worry him too much. He's probably better suited in the forwards. Longridge put it in, Longridge take it out for the second time but the referee's not happy. He said we'll have it in a third time. In it goes again, goes in, comes out. We're going to have a fourth one here. I don't see why you should pack four scrums. If the ball keeps coming out, one of the props are at fault and pinch him. Doesn't matter which side. That won a penalty to Bar Calden for a second row feed, even though Bar Bar Calden won the ball. He's uh, marked it as a second row feed. I thought it was a penalty for the halfback not retiring, but nevertheless, he showed second row feed and the ball went straight through Bar Calden's side. So Ralph would kick for touch on the outer side, uh, pretty well on the halfway line, about 20 metres in from the outer touch line. Ralph the puts boot the ball, very low kick, finds touch about one metre inside Longridge territory. Ends up Ralph to take the second kick. Ralph to puts it to the ground, takes the second kick, runs on his own, he runs into... Uh, Alf Jackson, by the look of it, he'll get up and play it back, plays it to Costello. Costello gets it away to Lyle Ballison running up the outer side. He's held up there. John Anderson into lend a hand. Over the top with a stiff elbow was Coco Wilson, but he gets up, plays it back to Rafter, onto Burley, onto Blucher. Blucher gets it away to Burley running around him, then onto David Kerrigan. David Kerrigan's held up on the cricket pitch. He gets up, plays it back to Wilson. Wilson onto Costello. Costello to Burley. Burley out to Wes Wilson, the centre. He'll get up and play it back now to Burley. Burley gets it away to Costello. Costello on to Rafa. Rafa on to Blucher. There's a fight going on back behind us, but anyway, he's going to be pretty good today by the look of it. They all they like to fight these fellas. Let them go. There's 26 of them in there. They don't know who's going to throw the next punch. Mark Davis. I've settled down. Paddy Arthur says, come on fellas, settle down. They're still pulling a couple apart in the middle here. It looks like it could be Kerrigan again. And Jeffrey Raft is into someone now. I don't know what's going on. Just let them fight. Stand there and wait till they finish. That's the way we're... Pretty good start to the 1986 season. No doubt the old fire between Longridge and Barcourt and still well and truly alive. This has been going on since 1927 with the Solly Cup. There's no love lost between these two sides. Haven't been over the years. No doubt now the referee will call uh, both coaches, both captains out, uh, give them both a lecture, tell them to settle down and play football. Looks like it might be a game of whoever wins the fight will win the football here today. A bit of blood running out of Tommy Mott's mouth. He stopped a couple there by the look of it.
Bleach is on his knees giving attention or praying, one of the two. Bit more fire in the football this year than there was last year, I can assure you. Yes, and uh, looks like David Peoples has got a, a spell. I didn't see what time he got. Anyway, we're going to move back over here and start the game again. Uh, Peoples has been sent off and it looks like he's going to restart the game with a scrum. Uh, very funny ruling, sending a player off and then restarting with a scrum. If the bloke's at fault, it should be a penalty to the opposition. Uh, nevertheless, he's out there blowing the whistle. Ball goes in, comes out to Longridge. Davies has it. He's held up by Balderson. He'll get up and play it back. Plays it to Dave Peoples. He gets it away to Wharton. Wharton gets it away to Steve Hart. He steps around Paddy Arthur. Gets it away. Taken by Darren Searles. About... He gets up, plays it back. To Setter. Setter gets it away through his half back to Peoples. Peoples on to Hanson. Hanson away to Peoples. Peoples is held up in the middle of the field <coughs> by Jeff Rafter and Pat Arthur. He gets up and plays it back. Plays it to the hooker Davies. He gets away to Davies, the half back. Goes on to Schultz. Schultz steps out of one tackle. He's finally taken there on the halfway line. He'll get up and play it back to the hooker Davies. Davies gets it away to Wharton. Wharton gets it away out wide to nobody. Dived on by Bishel, missed by Bishel. Looks like uh, Steve Hart comes up with the ball. Now it's Noddy Hart. He plays it back, comes to Davies. Davies gets it on to Peoples. Peoples kicks, charged down by a Bar Alden player, picked up by a Longridge player. Six to go, says referee Thompson. He gets up, plays it back to Peoples. Peoples throws it wide to Wharton. Wharton puts there the ball. A good little kick to about five metres inside Bar Alden territory. Points touch. It looks like Burley to feed this scrum about five metres inside Bark Alden Territory. Burley puts it in. Burley takes it out. He went right around the scrum, had to go back for it. He'd get up and play it back to Searle. Searle decides to have a run on his own. He's got Coco Wilson with him now. He says, I'll go on my own. He's tackled there by Alf Jackson and Noddy Hart. He gets up, plays it back. Tommy Mott standing flat. Drops the ball, knocks on. Referee didn't wait for the advantage. He says, we'll play the knock on after Bar Alden player put beat the ball. Long as to feed this scrum. Long as put it in. Bar Alden take it out in Burley. Throws it back to Williams. Goes over Williams' head. No, he said, we'll have that again. Longridge put it in, taken out by Longridge. Same tunnel again. Make them prop, pack in properly and keep that ball in once it goes in. In it goes, put in by Longridge, taken out by Longridge, straight hole. That's three scrums he's packed again, four over the other side a while ago. Looks like the fourth one going down now. Put in, taken out by Burley. Burley's put down behind the base of the scrum. He'll get up and play it back. Plays it forward. He's tackled by Schultz. Off in an offside position, so we get another free kick to Bar Calling. Costello will kick the touch on the grandstand side. He finds touch to about eight metres inside Longridge territory, about five metres inside Longridge territory. Searles so throws it into Rafter for the second kick. Got to go straight past him, so uh, we'll wait for the ball to come back to Rafter. Rafter takes the second kick, gets it away short to Coco Wilson coming hard. Coco Wilson's put down by Jackson and the hooker in Davies. Coco will get up and play it. He plays it back to Costello on to Lyle Ballison. Lyle Ballison set up on there by Alf Jackson and... Can't see here, number 11, yeah, that's Schultz. Uh, a break in play while Mark Davies, along with hooker, is down. Not Mark Davies, Paul Davies, along with hooker, receiving attention.
and where you can develop. Uh, so today is the uh, barbecue and the uh, bar and all it. Commencing at 6 o'clock, we have a barbecue and the bar, license bar, open from 6 to 11. So if you like a digital stream, a digital drink, a book over the game, etc., etc., that's the place to do it. 6 o'clock for the message. Still got Paul Davies down here on the ground receiving attention, attention from the Long Ridge uh, run-on trainer. very healthy, he's back up his feet, he's back down again, looks like he might have hurt an ankle there, so uh, we could see the replacement of the second hooker in the game, the Bar Calden hooker's already been replaced with a cut in the forehead, and uh, Longridge hooker's limping around pretty badly down there. He's going to continue. He's limping pretty badly, but he said, no, I'll stay on the field. So uh, we'll see Bar Calden play the ball for the third tackle. About 28 metres out from Longridge line, about 25 metres in from the grandstand touch line. Ball is in to play the ball, plays it back to Rafa, Rafa to Burley. Burley gets it away to Tommy Mott. Tommy Mott held up there, gets the ball away to Searles, but Searles quickly dived upon by... Uh, Noddy Hardy, get up and play it back to Costello, Costello to Burley, Burley out wide to Kerrigan running wide, Kerrigan set up on there by three or four of the Longridge players, Hanson over the top, underneath was the hooker in Davies, he plays it back, comes out to Burley, Burley decides to go back inside again, he's held up on the 22 metre line on the fifth tackle, he'll get up and play it back, plays it to Rafter, Rafter to Costello, Costello puts it up, the little bomb, Bleach is following it through, and Bleacher scored between the posts after the ball was touched by Phil Burley. No doubt in an offside position. He passed that ball to uh, Costello. Costello put it up and Bleacher was there to pick it up and score right between the posts. Bar Calden now go to a lead of six points to four with the kick to come. There's a little seeing person in again. Hello, that clock stopped again on 13, on 14 minutes. Bleacher's got the ball set, moves back, moves in. Yes, there it is. Some other two points by Paul and go to a lead of eight points to four after about 34 minutes of play in the first half. They've had. Oh, a bit of injury time, I suppose. Right, Longridge put the ball back into play. Kick down, it's picked up there by Tommy Mott, knocked behind him, picked up by Lyle Borlison. Lyle Borlison runs it up inside the 22 metres before he's put down. He'll get up and play it back to Dave Kerrigan. Uh, Kerrigan has a run in his own. He, no one with him. Yes, he's got the ball away to Tommy Mott. Now Tommy Mott makes it up to about 25, 10 metres inside Longridge territory before he's put down. He plays it back to Kerrigan. Kerrigan gets it away to Burley. Burley gets it away to Wes Wilson, the centre, replacement centre. He gets up and plays it back to Paddy Arthur. Paddy Arthur gets it away to Burley. Burley on to Jeff Arthur. Long pass out to Costello. On to Coco Wilson. Coco Wilson's put down. 
he lost a bit of ground in that movement where only about two metres inside long reach 30, plays it back to Searles, Searles gives it to Costello, Costello puts the ball that nearly over the outside fence anyway, scramble pack down about two or three metres inside long, uh, long reach territory, uh, ten metres in from the grandstands, long reach ball to the scrum, plays held up again while uh, second row for bar called and Tom Mott receives attention out in the middle of the field. I no doubt it's pretty hot out there running around in this sort of weather, but uh, I there's been a lot of time off for injuries in the first half of this game. As Longridge to feed the scrum, Longridge put it in, it's taken out by Bar Calden, Bar get the way to Bleacher, Bleacher onto Brett Williams, he hands it straight to David Peoples. If he's going to come into the back line, surely he should be running a lot faster than that where he can take the ball on the move. He plays it back to Noddy Hart, Noddy Hart gets it away to Jeff Hanson, he's held up over there by Coco Wilson, gets the ball away to... Um, Yes, it's not he had. He gets up and plays it back to Paul Davies. Davies makes it run into Costello. Costello puts him to the ground. He's held by Kerrigan. <coughs> Lanceman in uh, making a report to the referee. The referee calls up Coco Wilson for a high tackle on Hanson over there. Uh, we see a penalty go to Longreach from that uh, incident where the linesman come in and made his report. Probably a high tackle on Hanson in the last tackle by Coco Wilson. Wharton kicks for touch. He finds touch too. Makes good ground. He's only about uh, 30 metres out now from the bar called and try line. So Davies goes up to take the second kick. He takes it, gets the ball away to Schultz. Schultz loses the ball. It's dived on by Tommy. Might a good tackle that time by Coco Wilson underneath. He gets up, Mott plays it back, goes to Costello, he gets a short one away to Burleson, Burleson gets it away to Burley, Burley's hit there by the centre and Steve Hart, Steve Hart loses the ball, it's picked up by Wes Wilson, but knock on each way, and we'll see a scrum pack down on the cricket pitch, right in centre field. Tommy Mott looks like leaving the field, being replaced by Joe Farmer into the second row. Farmer packs in, the ball goes in, put in by Longridge, taken out by Longridge. He runs across field, he's set on by Burley and put down. He get up and play it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Neil Wharton. Wharton on to number 14 of Longridge replacement, which should be Billy Payton. He gets up, plays it back to Mark Davies. Mark Davies gets it away out wide. Over on. And the Longreach winger setter is put down over there by Joe Farmer and Coco Wilson. He's got another hold up in play while the Longreach player receives attention out in the centre of the field. A lot of breaks in play, but I think it's stupid holding the game up for a player like this when he's nowhere near the play. The game could go on while he's on the ground. He's in no danger of being hurt. That's the idea of run-on trainers today, so they can run on and attend these players. Beat that long edge fly up with the hooker again in uh, uh, the halfback in the other day, the Mark Davies. The uh, winger setter will play the ball about 24 metres out. He plays it back. Come back to Mark Davies. Mark Davies runs headlong into Joey Farmer. He'll get up and play it back to Schultz. Schultz gets it away to Wharton. Wharton out wide to Hanson. Hanson's taken there by Costello. Gets the ball back to Wharton. Wharton put down by Bleacher, right in front, about 20 metres out. He'll get up and play the ball back to Davies. Davies gets it away to Ross Peebles. Ross Peebles onto Davies. And Davies tackles Hanson out wide there that time. 
They get up and play it back, plays it back to Davies, Davies to Wharton, Wharton puts the ball up, Steve Hart following through, Jeffrey Rouse is under, takes it for Bark Holden, and we'll see a goal line drop out. Uh, he must have taken it back over the dead ball line because it's an optional uh, tap kick from the 22 metre line. Too deep that one by Wharton. Uh, Wes, Wes Wilson's up to take the uh, tap, he takes a tap, he has a run on his own, he makes three or four metres before he's put down. He'll get up and play it back to Dave Kerrigan. Dave Kerrigan has a run on his own. He runs into one, runs over top of Wharton, but he's held pretty securely there by Alf Jackson. He get up and play it back, plays it to Rafa. Rafa to Costello. Costello gets it on to Coco Wilson. He drops it. Longridge player knocks it on, attempting to pick it up. So we'll have another scrum pack down pretty well on halfway, about 10 or 15 metres in from the outer touch line. If you're over there, they'd be over here. Uh, Wilson to feed this, uh, Burley to feed this scrum for Bar Call, and he puts it in, it's straight out the same tunnel. These have been a bit rugged, some of these scrums uh, put in again by Burley, taken out by Longridge, dived upon over there by Michael Bishel, the Longridge winger, up beside the scrum, he's tackled by Burley. He gets up and plays it back to Hart. Hart's held up over there. He'll get up and play it back to Mike Bishel. Mike Bishel gets it away to Alf Jackson. Jackson runs straight up the middle, put down by Coco Wilson. Wilson get up and play it back to Schultz. Schultz gets it away to Mark Davies. On to Peoples, on to Hanson coming through hard. He's taken by Costello, gets it away to Davies. Davies gets it back outside to Peoples. Peoples steps around one, taken by Joey Farmer. Gets the ball away to uh, Peter Blucher by the look of it for Bar Calden. Uh, Blucher will get up and play this ball. Bleacher plays it back to Wes Wilson. Wilson comes straight ahead into Steve Hart, over top of Steve Hart, and underneath goes the other centre. He gets up, plays it back to Coco Wilson. Coco Wilson gets it away to Costello, back inside to Kerrigan. Kerrigan beats off one, beats off two. He can't get his pass away. He's held up there just inside Longridge territory. He plays it back to Jeffrey Rafter, onto Burley, onto Lyle Ballison. Lyle Ballison has a run, he's on a cross field. He's tackled there by number three in Steve Hart. He gets up, plays it back to Joey Farmer. It goes on to Phil Burley, on to Wes Wilson, Wes Wilson beats one, two, he's running hard, he's got Johnny Anderson and Burley inside, he gets the ball back inside, and Burley carried over the far line. He carried over in the tackle over the far line to try to back all and scored by Phil Burley. Wes Wilson's down on the outer side, but he threw that ball over well, it was picked up by Burley, and Burley scored about 10 metres out from the right hand upright. The back all and go to a lead of 12 points to four. Must be very close to half time here at the uh, Bark Alden Sports Reserve. <laughs> Looks like he might be a bit winded, this bloke. His first run that knocked him up. He'll be right to teach school tomorrow, no doubt. Uh, winner of the uh, bottle of wine and the 50 bucks was uh, Mick Rashmuson. Rick Rashmuson won the 50 bucks plus the bottle of wine. And Bleach is about to place his ball. He's right on the 22 metre line. About 10 metres to the right hand side of the upright. Should be a pretty simple kick. It's somewhere near where he kicked the penalty a while ago. Moves in, hurt the ball, it looks all right from here, yes, straight through the centre. And by call and go to a lead of 14 points to four after 37 minutes in the first half. Wharton's got this ball set for the kickoff. Put boot to ball, it goes pretty well straight across field. Costello's got it right on the 10 metre line. He's held up there by Schultz over the top. Underneath is the winger, 
in centre. He plays it back to Coco Wilson. He gets it away to death to uh, Joe Farmer by the look of it. Joey Farmer will get up and play the ball back to Wilson. Goes on to Kerrigan. Kerrigan comes straight up the middle. Steps around one, steps around two. He's held up there underneath by Alf Jackson. Over the top, Noddy Hart and Ross People. He up, plays it back to Wilson. Wilson gets it on to Burley. Burley gets it away to Blucher. Blucher comes back inside and he's held up. He plays it back to Wilson. Wilson gets it to Burley. Burley out to Rafter. Rafter on to Paddy Arthur. Paddy Arthur to Costello. Costello to Searle. Searle's have got a bit of room to move. He's also got a bit of pace, but he's pulled down about 20 metres out from the Longreach try line. He'll get up and play the ball back to Costello. Plays it to Costello. Costello gets it to Rafter. Rafter puts it up. Taken there by Peoples. Knocked back by Peoples. Stabbed the one by Steve Hart. He get up and play it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Schultz. Schultz goes straight up the middle. He steps out of a tackle by Wilson. Finally put down over there by Lyle Ballison. He'll get up and play it back to Stevie Hart. Stevie Hart gets it away to Jeff Hanson. Jeff Hanson's taken in a pretty heavy tackle there by Jeff Rafter. He'll get up and play it back. Plays it onto the lock forward. He gets it away to Mark Davies. Mark Davies puts Bert the ball. Burley finishes up at the ball after putting his boot in the road so Davies couldn't get a second kick in. He'll get up and play it. Plays it back to Toto Wilson. Toto Wilson makes one or two metres before he's put down. He'll play it back to Rafter. Rafter gets it away out wide to Costello. Costello knocks it on, standing flat-footed instead of being back, running onto the ball. He's standing flat-footed. No good in a game of football. You've got to get back and run onto this ball. So we see another scrum pack down about 25 metres out from the Longridge try line. Be fed by Mark Davies. Ball goes in. Taken out by Davies. Davies is put down by Ballison. Ballison, he gets up and plays it. Back to Ross Peoples. Ross Peoples goes up the middle on his own. No one with him. He's put down by Lyle Ballison. If Joey Farmer at the top. No marker. Plays it ahead. Gets it away out wide to... Wharton, Wharton to Hanson, Hanson missed in a tackle, he drops the ball, dived upon by Longridge second row, Ralph Jackson, back to the first tackle, knocked down by Bar Calden. He plays it back to Noddy Hart, Noddy Hart's taken by Coco Wilson. He'll get up and play it back to Paul Davies. Comes on to Schultz, Schultz runs into Darren Searles, and he's put down there about three metres inside Longridge territory. Plays back to Paul Davies, on to Neil Wharton, Neil Wharton gets it away to Jeff Hanson, Jeff Hanson puts the ball down, dives on it again, but the knock line to be played, about three or four metres inside Longridge Territory. Must be getting very close to half time now. The clock stopped at about 13 minutes past uh, uh, after the start of the game and we've been out there a long time. Been a bit of time off for injuries. Ball coming up the same way, said the referee. We'll have it in again. Ball goes in, put in by Barcold and taken out by Burley. Burley beats one, gets it away to with a bit of room to move. He's got a ton of pace, this boy, and he's gone in. Good try to Barcold and Burley made the break. Fred Searles, he's got a ton of pace, and Searles goes in about six or seven metres in from the grandstand touchline. <coughs> this is one boy that I don't want to give too much room to because there's no one on this field that'll catch him over 100 metres. Should be a very lighted bar called inside that leaves the field at half time. They should be very pleased with themselves. Costello should be quite pleased with his team, although a lot of errors being made out there by both sides. No doubt it will slow down a bit in the second half as conditions start to tell on these sides. The most difficult kick Bleach has had. He's kicked four out of four so far, so. Uh, kicker of his ability. This one shouldn't be too hard. It's about eight, nine metres in from touch on the grandstand side and he's placed it about 24, 25 metres out from the goal line. Leach has got this ball set, he moves in, puts Bert the ball, it's up in the air, it's going to fall a bit short. No, it's there, 
place. And now falling down to the bright leading by 20 points to four after a pretty rugged first half of football. Uh, I think Costello would be pretty pleased with himself with the effort of his boys first up in the first game, in the first half. Longridge had a run last week against Yerndon and uh, defeated Yerndon by about 18 points to six after six all at half time. So we should see a pretty good bright second half to this game after about a 10 minute break. So until then, I'm closing off. Uh, here we go, we're just about to start the second half of this uh, first fixture game for the 1986 season. Bar Calden to put the ball into play. Uh, scores at half time, 20 points to four in favour of Bar Calden. Uh, Williams has come up onto a wing, Searles into the centres and uh, Wesley Wilson's moved back, no, not Searles into the centres, Johnny Anderson into the centres and uh, Wesley Wilson back to uh, fullback. Longridge side, they're playing with 12 men after Dave Peoples was dismissed in the first half. Uh, only one replacement so far on their side is number 14 replacing number one. That's uh, Stevie Walsh in 14 jersey. I might have called him earlier as Billy Payton. That was the number I had in the book, but anyway, it's Steve Walsh out there. Game about to get underway. Uh, Bleach is very anxious, stepping up and down one spot. There goes the whistle, Bleacher moves in, puts the ball into play, goes deep down into uh, Longridge territory. It's taken there by uh, Alf Jackson by the look of it, the Longridge second row. He's, he's tackled by Joe Farmer, he gets up and plays it back, it comes to Noddy Hart. Noddy put down there by Darren Searles in from his wing, he gets up and plays it back. Kerrigan puts the boot to it, puts it into touch. Just inside the 22 metre line on uh, Longridge into the ground, the first scrum of the second half. Uh, Longridge to feed this scrum, kicked out by Bar Calden, so be Longridge loose head. He puts it in, taken out by Longridge. It's not taken out by anyone. It's finished up, picked up by Darren Searles, the Bar Calden winger, right on the try line. He gets up, plays it back, plays it to Rafter. Rafter gets it away to Wilson. To Burley, Burley to Wilson. Wilson doubles round, takes it back off Burley, drops the ball, picked up by a Longridge player. Look like Hanson, he gets up and plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away out. No, no. I've gone bush already. Who's that, Marty? Longridge played back. Played back to Schultz. He's tackled there by Joey Farmer. He'll get up and play the ball back to Ross Peoples. Ross Peoples gets it away out wide too. Uh, Bishel, by the look of it in the centre, he gets it away to his winger. No, that's Bishel picked up with it now. That was Wharton before that ball into touch on the full, so we'll have a scrum pack down just inside Longridge territory, about 10 metres in from the touch line. Apparently, there's been another change in the Longridge side. Uh, uh, Burley to feed the scrum. Burley puts it in, Burley takes it out. The referee said not good enough, we'll have it again. Uh, Burley puts it in again, taken out by Burley, out the same tunnel. That's twice. How many more times are you going to pack these scrums? Three or four times. Burley puts it in, kicked straight out by the bar called and prop Kerrigan. I should think so. Didn't have time to get in, he's ruled in second row, but it was kicked straight out by the bar called and prop. Penalty to Longridge. Oh, Wharton kicks for touch, finds touch to about 10 metres inside bar called and territory. Peoples comes up to take the second kick. Takes the second kick, gets it away to Hanson coming up the middle. He's grabbed by Farmer. He gets the ball back to Mick Bischel. Bischel's grabbed by Coco Wilson. Gets away from Wilson. Put down by Costello. he get up and play it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Davies. Davies to Wharton. Wharton to... Is it Mark Dixon. Mark Dixon. To Mark Dixon. Mark Dixon set up on there and put down. he get up and play it back. He gets it out wide to Wharton. Wharton gets it. Oh, he drops the ball, picked up. Oh, what a mess. We'll have a scrum for the knock on there by the people. Knock back, knock on. Another scrum to pack down. It'll be Burley to feed this scrum back.
The ball comes out to Barcall and picked up by Longridge uh, after being missed by Barcall and halfback. He gets up, plays it back to Peoples, comes on to Davies. Davies gets it away out wide to Wharton. Wharton gets it on then to Hanson. Hanson's quickly put down by Paddy Arthur and Johnny Anderson. He gets up and plays it back. Peoples puts Bert the ball. Yes, he finds touch about two metres out from the Bar Calden line. So another scrum to back down. Just out from Bar Calden try line. It'll be a Bar Calden ball to the scrum. We'll have it again, said the referee. Oh, yeah, what a scrum. Never even went in that ball, but anyway, there's a fight for possession. It looks like uh, Bar Calden's going to come up with it. No, we're going to pack it again. Bark Alden ball in, Bark Alden ball out. Another penalty to Longreach. Don't turn your backs there, fellas. And a penalty to Longreach, only about five metres out to be taken by Wharton. He'll kick for touch. He puts it back to about the 10 or 12 metre line. Uh, Longreach leader blokes in danger of being run over if he gets much close to the sideline taking photos. But anyway, Brian's been around a long time. Gets it away to Davies. Davies gets it on to Wharton. Wharton. Wharton gets it away to nobody and the finish is to knock on by Dixon. So we'll... So we'll, if he gets the picture. we'll see another scrum go down. Bark Alden to feed this scrum in centre field, pretty well on the 22 metre line. Bark Alden put it in, come straight out the same tunnel, picked up by the Longridge halfback in Mark Davies. Burley puts it in. It's pretty well won by Longridge. We've got a penalty here for foot across, so uh, Bark Alden get out of trouble. We see Bark Alden no doubt kick for touch and uh, Costello's got the ball, going to kick for touch on the outer side of the group. No, it's Kerrigan kicking for touch on the outer. He finds touch to about 10 metres inside Bar Calden Territory, 12 metres inside Bar Calden Territory. He throws it into Rafter, the acting hooker. Rafter takes a second kick, gets it away to Kerrigan. Kerrigan goes straight up the middle, gets the ball away nicely to Wilson. Wilson drops it, runs back, picked up by Noddy Hart. Noddy Hart turns, comes straight up, runs into Coco Wilson. He'll put him to the ground right on the half, or just inside Longridge Territory, about two metres inside. He get up and play it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Wharton. Morton set up on there by three or four bar called and players. Underneath was Bleacher, over the top was Wilson and Arthur. He plays it back. Comes out to Davies. Davies gets it away out wide to Bishel. Bishel misses the ball as it goes over the touchline. He gets a nice shoulder from Lyle Balderson. We see yet another scrum to pack down about 10 metres inside bar called territory. 10 metres in from the grandstand touchline. Put in by Burley. Taken out by Davies against the head. Davies gets it away onto Wharton. And Wharton's put down there by Johnny Anderson. He gets up, plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Davies. Davies gets it onto Dixon. Dixon sees a gap, runs through the gap, beats one tackle of Paddy Arthur. Pretty weak effort too, but he's picked up by Coco Wilson. He's put down. Like Mark Davies might have stopped one in back play. I didn't see that, but he's down on the ground and the linesman in making a report. That was a pretty solid tackle then by Coco Wilson on and Mark Dixon. See another replacement in the bar called inside. David Thompson's come on to replace Peter Blucher. We might see a bit of a shuffle around in this back line. Uh, see Thompson go to halfback probably and Burley go to 5'8". Uh, Longridge to play this ball about 20 metres out from bar called and try line. Played by Dixon. Back to Peoples. Goes on to Wharton. Wharton runs back behind Hanson. Gets the ball away to number 14 instead. Walsh. Walsh loses the ball. Bar called and loses the ball. I don't know what the penalty to uh, Bark Alden's for, but 
You know, we got a penalty to Bar Calden when uh, Wharton come up with the ball. I couldn't follow the referee's ruling on that one. No doubt it'll show up on the replay tonight, so if you have a close look, you might be able to pick it up what it's for. Now Costello's got the ball, he's going to kick for touch on the grandstand side. He puts boot to ball. Yes, he finds touch too, probably about uh, 26, 27 metres out from the Bar Calden trial line. The second kick will be taken by Rafter. Rafter takes the second kick, gets the ball away close to Joey Farmer. Farmer goes straight up the middle, loses the ball, picked up by Lyle Ballison, but not going to be played, so we'll see a scrum set down about 10 metres inside Bar Calden territory, about 12 metres in from the grandstand touchline. Longridge put it in, comes straight out the same tunnel. Referee will have to step on both these prop forwards, make them keep that ball in there. Neither of them make an effort to keep it in. That one come out the same tunnel, but we'll let her go. I'm sick of seeing scrums pack, says the ref. If Davis gets up and plays it back to Peoples, Peoples on to Wharton, Wharton on to Hanson running wide. Hanson's held up over there by Johnny Anderson and Joey Farmer. He'll get up and play it back. He plays it back to Jackson. Jackson goes around but comes back into Peoples. Peoples is held up there. He gets up, plays it back to Noddy Hart. On to Mark Davies. On to Wharton. Wharton puts a little kick in after the ball. Uh, the penalty to bar at the long reach here and rightly so for uh, interference to a man without the ball. After he'd kicked it, shoulders okay but you can't grab onto that man. Uh, Davies takes the tap, he gets it out to Wharton, Wharton gets it away out wide to Hanson, Hanson's held up there by Jeffrey Rafter and put the ground right on the 22 metre line. Another penalty to Longridge for Rafter, reefing the ball out of his hand after he's tackled. And once again Davies to take the tap, he gets it back out, out wide it comes to uh, Alf Jackson, Jackson's held up there by Lyle Balls and Brett Williams with a hand from uh, Costello in the finish. He'll get up and throw it back, throws it to Marty Hart. Marty Hart decides to go on his arm. He's put in the touch about one metre from the touch line. <laughs> and now we'll see another scrum pack down about five metres out from the Bar Calden try line. Bar Calden ball to the scrum. Yes, yeah, Thompson's gone to half back as I thought he would and barely apparently up to 5-8. Now we'll see the scrum pack again. Ball and straight out of the sideline out of that scrum. Thompson puts it in. Thompson takes it out. He decides to have a run. He's only goes around the scrum. He's held up by Mick Bishop. He'll get up there and play the ball back to Wes. No, he plays it to Jeffrey Rafter. Rafter gets it away to Coco Wilson. Wilson makes it up to the 22 metre line before he's put down by Alf Jackson. He'll get up and play it back to David Thompson. Thompson onto Joey Farmer. Farmer standing flat footed. He should be back running hard onto this ball. Thompson plays it back again, gets the ball out wide to Costello. Costello decides to kick straight up in the air, straight down Walsh's throat. Walsh knocks it on, there's the ball for Barkhall in the pickup. Thompson puts power to ball, runs back, picked up by Mark Dick, finally picked up by Burley. Burley gets it away to Johnny Anderson, knocked down by the Longridge centre in Steve Hart and dived upon by Roy Costello. Picked up, played back. Gets it away to Burley. Burley gets it away to Wes Wilson. Wes Wilson gets it out to Paddy Arthur. On to Darren Searles. Darren Searles is in in the corner. Right out in the far corner. Darren Searles has gone in off the ball. Went straight through Paddy Arthur's hands to Darren Searles. About called and go to a lead of 24 points to four. After about 15 minutes play in the second half. Plug like David Kering and going to have a kick at this. Uh, Bleach has been replaced, so they've lost their kicker. Kering to come around and have a kick for goal. Kerrigan puts Bert the ball, there it is, in the air, now it's, yes, it's in. Uh, Bar Calder now go to a lead of 26 points to four. 
after about 15 minutes in the second half. Longridge bring the ball up to put it back into play. It's Neil Wharton, the Longridge centre, who will uh, restart play. He's kicking to the grandstand side. Puts Bert to ball. Paddy Arthur's got it covered here. He stands, takes the ball, decides to have a run on his own. He runs around Bishel. Doesn't get quite around him. He held up and put down. He'll get up and play it back to Johnny Anderson. Johnny Anderson gets it on to Wes Wilson. Straight up the middle goes Wilson. Bit of an asset this year to see a couple of school teachers come to the town that play football. There's one Wes Wilson, the other one in Phil Burley. Plays it to uh, Thompson. Thompson gets it away to Burley. Burley to Coco Wilson. He's running back to the Longridge try line. But anyway, he's finally tackled over there by number 40. And that's Steve Walsh. He gets it away to Searles. Searles put down by the Longridge winger in uh, Setter, I think his name is, yes, Setter, and David Thompson finally knocks the ball on after the play of the ball, so we'll see another scrum pack down about 28 metres, at 30 metres out from the Barcalden try line. Longridge ball in, it looks like a Longridge ball out. Straight out the same tunnel. And gee, these scrums have been shocking today and the referee hasn't done too much about it either. And it goes again, Longridge ball in, Longridge ball out. Now it's picked up by a winger and uh, it's straight out the same tunnel. The winger's about 10 yards behind the scrum. That one's gone straight through the scrum, but he said play on with that. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Comes to Wilson. Wilson steps around Peoples. He's taken there by Steve Hart and Neil Wharton. He's held up in centre field. He'll get up and play the ball back, plays it on to Darren Searles. Darren Searles gets away to Thompson, on to Burley. Burley gets it away to Costello. Costello gets it out wide to Brett Williams. Brett Williams is put down there by his opposite number in Mick Bishel. He'll get up and play it back to Costello. Costello gets it away to Lyle Ballis and Lyle makes about 10 metres. He's put down, plays it back to Jeffrey Roth. He gets it away to David Thompson. David Thompson out wide to Joe Farmer. Up the centre was going Kerrigan. They didn't look to see what was going on then. Plays it back to Rafter, Rafter to David Thompson, on to Phil Burley. Burley, little kick over the top, following through. It's picked up there by Steve Walsh. Burley takes him a bit high in the follow through. He'll get up and play the ball. He plays it back. Can't see who he's played it to. Played back to Ross Peoples this time. Ross Peoples gets it out wide. He's put down. He get up and play it back. Peoples again a dummy half, back to, it comes through Davies to Hanson, Hanson's held up in midfield. And now we've got timeout number 11, Peter Schultz, the long ridge prop is uh, receiving attention in the middle of the field. Back on his feet now, uh, Schultz. So we'll see Hanson play this ball. Uh, he plays it back to Peoples. Comes on to Davies. Davies gets it on to Wharton. Wharton puts boot to ball. Kicks deep downfield. Uh, pretty well covered by Wilson, the fullback. He picks it up. Runs up on his own. Runs up to Steve Hart. Gets halfway around him. Hart catches him from behind. Puts him down. He'll get up and play the ball back. Plays it to Burley. Burley... Gives it to Kerrigan, stand flat-footed, and Kerrigan's put down without making a yard. He'll get up, play it back to Rafter. Rafter gets it to Thompson. Thompson gives a little kick over the top, straight to Michael Bishel. Bishel takes the ball. He's grabbed there by the jersey by Joe Farmer and uh, pounded into the turf. He'll get up and play it back to Walsh. Walsh gets it away to Wharton. Bar called him well up inside the five, says referee Thompson. We'll have a penalty here at Longreach. Uh, Wharton kicks for touch, finds touch too, about 20 metres out from the Bark Alden try line. Second kick to be taken by Longridge. Mick Bishop, no, it's gone into Ross Peoples for the second kick. Peoples takes the tap, he gets it back inside to Noddy Hart. Noddy Hart dropped the ball in a pretty heavy tackle there. We'll have the 
Knock on, says referee Thompson. Come to back down about 20 metres out from Barcold and Trollon. David Thompson feeds this crumb, taken out by Barcold, picked up by Longridge, dived upon by Barcold. So we'll see Barcold get a play back to Rafter. Rafter knocks the ball behind him, he dives back on it. He's put down by Hanson. He got a play back to Kerrigan. Kerrigan runs across field. Tackled by Noddy Hart, he'll get up and play it. Plays it back to Wilson. Wilson gets it away to Costello. Costello out wide to nobody, straight over the sideline. No one running onto it, he had a man running close off him. He didn't have a look, he just threw the ball straight out across the sideline. That's a long reach ball in, long reach ball out, same tunnel. It's going to go on all day, this pack and scrums. Oh, we've got uh, the 5'8 for uh, Longridge up playing hooker now. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. We've got a centre and a 5'8 hooker. Goes back around Wharton to Davies. Davies on to Stevie Hart. Stevie Hart back to Davies. Davies is put out by Paddy Arthur. He get up and play it. Plays it back to Dixon. Dixon's held up there by David Thompson and Paddy Arthur. He'll get up and play it back to Mark Davies. Davies plays back, on it goes to Peoples, Peoples out to Wharton, Wharton out to Hanson, Hanson stands up in the tackle, gets the ball back to Wharton, Wharton's held up, put over by a shoulder charge from Paddy Arthur, he'll get up and play it back, plays it to Ross Peoples, Ross Peoples tries to go on his own, he's tackled there, he plays it back to Wharton, Wharton gets it away to Mark Davies, on to Dixon, Dixon's held up there by Costello and uh, Brett Williams, so he's only about three metres out. He'll play it back to Stevie Hart. Stevie Hart gets it away to Mark Davies. Mark Davies out wide to Bishel. Bishel knocks on, comes off Kerrigan's legs. Kerrigan dives on the ball. He's held up there. He'll play it back to Rafter. Rafter has a run on his own. No one with him. He plays it back. Lyle Ball is get, decides to go on his own. He's tackled there by the Hart brothers. Like another replacement, Bill Balky uh, warming up on the sideline, coming onto the field to replace uh, someone in the long reach side. It could be Peter Schultz coming off. Bill Balky right? going on. Schultz, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Bill Balky uh, going on to replace uh, Peter Schultz. He's grown a bit bulky in the last couple of years. He's a pretty big boy now. If he's anywhere near fit, he used to be a good forward in the junior games. The ball is in plays it back to Rafter, Rafter to Anderson, Anderson out wide to Costello, Costello a short one to Kerrigan, Kerrigan busts the line, there's no one with him, he throws a silly pass in the finish and picked up by Mick Bishel, Bishel's running across field, he's chased across there, put down by Burley and uh, Wilson, he'll get up and play it back, he plays it back to Steve Walsh, Steve Walsh gets it away out wide to Number nine in Elf Jackson. Jackson loses the ball, picked up by Burley. Burley plays it to Costello. Costello gets it to Coco Wilson. Uh, I've called that one wrong. That was Lyle Ballison. Coco was right behind him. Coco dummy half. He gets it away to Jeffrey Rafter. Rafter goes up the middle on his own. He plays it back. Here's another report coming in from the linesman. Someone's around a punch in a tackle. Another penalty to Longreach, apparently Rafter threw a punch in that tackle, he was reported by the linesman on the other side. She's been a pretty spiteful game this one, there's a penalty kick from uh, Wharton, he finds touch about 10 metres inside Barcald and Territory. Up to take the second kick is Setter, Setter decides to have a run and he's only runs into Joey Farmer, Farmer missing, picked up by Searles, he gets up plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it on to Elk Jackson, Elk Jackson drops it, Searles put Bert to ball, then he can't keep his boot against it. He's not a soccer player and it's picked up again by Longridge, but he, Noddy Hart's quickly put down by Darren Searles. He plays it back to Jack uh, Davies. Davies slung into the ground there by Lyle Ballison. He'll get up and play the ball. Plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets the ball out wide to Dixon. Dixon held up there by David Thompson and uh, Roy Costello. He plays it back to Jeff Hanson. Jeff Hanson 
makes no air. Held up by Thompson and Costello, again Kerrigan in to help. He gets up, plays it back, plays it to Dixon. Dixon gets it out to Wharton. Wharton puts foot, boots the ball. Under it's Jeffrey Rafter. Gets in the road as uh, Wharton knocks the ball back. Picked up by Wes Wilson for bar call. And he'll play it back to Jerry Farmer. Farmer will have a run on his own. He doesn't know how to pass it. He's a good Catholic boy. He won't pass the pill. Plays it back to Thompson. Thompson gets it away to Kerrigan. Kerrigan goes straight ahead up the middle through Hanson. Held up there by two Longreach defenders, one of which was Alf Jackson. The one on the ground looks like Davies. Longreach well up inside the five. So we'll see a penalty go to Barcaldon just inside Longreach territory. No doubt uh, Costello will kick for touch. Puts Bert the ball, finds touch too. He only gains about 10 metres, but the ball's out, so we get the second kick about 27, 28 metres out from the Longreach try line. Looks like no one for the bar called inside wants to take this tap. Here's Costello, the coach, finally moved up to take it. he will take the tap, he gets side to go on his own, gets it away to Wilson. Wilson runs straight ahead, runs into Ross Peoples and Noddy Hart. He's held up there, finally put down by Noddy Hart, and underneath was Elk Jackson. Now he'll get up and play it. Come back to Farmer, on to Jeffrey Rafter. Rafter bust straight up the middle, into Hart, into Hanson. He'll get up and play the ball. He's given him, given a good warning to Hanson. I don't know. It barely on to Thompson. Thompson on to Wilson. Wilson steps out of one, two tackles. He's got three men over. <coughs> three men over. Decided to go in his own. He scored the try about 10 metres out from the left hand upright on the outer side of the field. So Bar Calden go to a lead of 30 points to four. Kerrigan setting this ball up on the 22 metre line, about, well, only about five or six metres to the left hand side of the uprights. It's on his last kick from the sideline, he should put this one over. Very cloudy, very overcast for the Haley Comet viewers tonight. Don't look like we'll get a look at her on supposedly the best night of the Holy Comet season. There's the kick, it's missed, waved away to the right hand side of the uprights. Easiest kick of the day and uh, it's put out. So by Calden lead by 30 points to four. After about 30 minutes play in the second half. So we're coming up to the last 10 minutes. And Longridge have this ball set on the halfway. Uh, Wharton moves back. All very tired, very dejected looking. Jeff Hanson out here getting quite a chat from the referee. <laughs> right, here we go, into play, put boot the ball. Picked up by Paddy Arthur. Paddy Arthur hasn't done anything all day, decided to have a run now on his own. He's taken over the top by Bill Bolke. He get up and play it back to Jeff Wilson. Jeff gives it to David Thompson. David Thompson standing flat foot instead of being back running onto this ball. Puts the ball down, watching the player come through. It'll be a long reach ball to the scrum, about oh, 26 metres out from the uh, Bark Alden try line. Put in by Davies, taken out by Davies. Davies got a big gap to go through there, but he's finally taken from behind by uh, Blackjack Thompson. He'll get up and play the ball, plays it back to Dixon. Dixon gets it away to Walsh. Uh, to Wharton, Wharton gets it on to Jackson, Jackson back to Wharton, Wharton on to Hart, Hart out wide to Setter, Setter gets it around the corner to, uh, can't see who that Longridge player is, but he'll get up and play the ball about 10 metres out, he's tacked, plays it back to Noddy Hart, Noddy Hart gets it on to Peoples, Peoples puts it down, dived on by Costello, knock on by Costello, so we'll see a scrum pack down right in front of the goal post, about 22 metres out from the bar called and try line. Put 
put in by Thompson, be taken out by Davies. Yes, and Davies put down by Lyle Borlison. He'll get up and play the ball. He plays it back to Dixon. Dixon decides to go on his own. He's held up there by Thompson and Borlison. Put down with the assistance of Kerrigan. He'll get up and play the ball. Plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Wharton. Wharton has a run in his own. Gets the ball out wide to Hanson. Hanson brushes off Burley. But he can't brush off Paddy Arthur. And he's put down about 20 metres out. Gets up. Plays it back to Peoples. Out wide to Wharton again. Back inside to Bill Bolke. Bolke's put down there. He'll get up and play the ball back. Plays it to Peoples. Peoples gets it on to Davies. Davies passes it to Costello. Costello makes it out to the 22 metre line before he's held up. He get up and play it back to Johnny Anderson. I've got another replacement in the bar called inside. Peter Maloney in number 11 jersey on. I'll pick up in a minute who's replacing. Here's an intercept to Longreach and a try to the Longreach winger in. No, it's not. It's the second row of Alty Jackson who scored that try. A run against play, a real good try, scored by Elf Jackson, that brings Longreach up to eight. Bar called in 30, Longreach eight. Here's Zambuck, the physiotherapist, running around with plenty of rattles. Phil Burley. <laughs> Not Burley, Phil. There's a kick by Mark Davies. Now it's waved away. Outside the right hand upright, or left hand upright. So the score remains back. All in 30. Long reach eight. With about oh, eight or ten minutes to go in this game. Off. It's gone down to uh, Longridge Winger in centre. He drops the ball, picked up by Peter Maloney, but he's ruled uh, snatching the ball after his tackle, so a penalty will go to Longridge on the 22 metre line. Longridge into the ground. Uh, Wharton kicks for touch, finds touch to about the halfway line, might be just inside Bar Calden territory. Yes, about five metres inside Bar Calden territory. Uh, Wharton found touch. Longridge come up to take the second kick. It's taken by Setter. Setter gets it away to Ross Peebles. It goes on to Mark Davies. Mark Davies gets it away to Wharton. On to Hanson close in. Hanson gets it away out wide. It comes out wide to Stevie Hart. He got a ton of pace, Stevie Hart. He got a man outside in the line wide open. Michael Bishop scores another try in the dying minutes. Forward pass rule by referee Thompson. <coughs> Penalty to Bar Calden. It looked like a 
a certain try from here, but uh, referee Thompson has ruled that Bishel was in front of Hart when he received that ball. A penalty has gone to bar call, and only about five metres out from the bar call and throw line. The Costello takes the kick, he finds touch to about 27, 28, 30 metres out from the uh, try line. Ralph will take the second kick. Moves up to take the second kick, takes it, gets the ball away to Kerrigan. Kerrigan goes on his own, runs into Bulky. Bulky puts him down. He'll get up and play it back to Rafter. Rafter away to Thompson. Thompson gets it away to Costello. Goes behind him. He leaves it behind too. Dived on by Wilson. Missed by Wilson. Dived on by another bar called and played in an offside position. And a penalty has gone to Longreach on the 22-metre line right in front. So Peoples will take the tap. He takes the tap. He gets the ball away out wide. Goes to Alf Jackson. Jackson to Setter. Setter drops the ball. Dived on by a bar called and player, but should be a knock on both ways. I see another scrum pack down. It's getting very scrappy now, this game. The players are getting very tired. Right in the 22 metre line. Put in by Longreach by Bar Calden. Taken out by Bar Calden. Comes to Burley. Burley gets it on to Brett Williams. Brett Williams held up there by Stevie Hart. He's put down. He'll get up and play it back to Wes Wilson. Wilson decides to have a run in his own. He's got Peter Maloney with him. He steps out of one, two tackles. He runs up to Walsh. Walsh has got him underneath. Over the top is Hanson. Puts him down. He gets up, plays it back to Rafter. Rafter gets it away to Burley. Burley's got Costello outside him. Out. Knocked down by Longridge winger in setter. We'll have to play the knock on there. It was a knock on. Knocked down by setter between the winger, between the centre and uh, Costello. Another scrum to pack down. In it goes. Put in by Bar Corden. Should be taken out by Thompson. Taken out by Thompson. He's tackled by his opposite number. He gets up, plays it back to Rafter. Rafter straight up the middle. Held up there by Bill Bulky. He played back to Joe Farmer. Farmer decides to have a run on his own up around the middle. Steps out of one. Put down by J uh, Davies, the halfback for Longridge, plays it to Rafter, Rafter away to Thompson, Thompson on to Burley, Burley back inside to Kerrigan, Kerrigan out to Paddy Arthur, Paddy Arthur round to Burley, Burley out wide to Johnny Anderson, running for the corner, Anderson palmed off one, palmed, and he's going to score Johnny Anderson. <coughs> yes, he palmed Dixon off very cleanly, and he scored a fine try about halfway between the sideline and the goalpost on the hospital end of the ground. So by call and go to a lead of 34 points to eight in the dying minutes of this game. Can you see David? David Kerrigan have this kick at goal. Come back to about the 22 metre line, just outside the 22 metre line. <laughs> Kerrigan's got this ball placed now, he's just measuring his steps back. In he goes, puts it the ball. Yes, it looks straight down the middle. There's another two points. So 36 points to eight. Bark Walden lead long reach. Very close to full time in this game. Been a very sound, convincing win to Bark Walden, considering it's their first game, first run together for the season. Long reach have had one run under their belt. Uh, things all go pretty well for Bark Walden this season. If this side can be kept going, kept fit. Uh, Wharton puts the ball in Balderson takes it inside his own 22 runs it out he runs into Alf Jackson runs around him held up there by the halfback in Davies he'll get up and play it back to Rafter Rafter gets it away to Peter Maloney the late replacement Maloney's put down over there he get up played back to Rafter again Rafter gets it out wide to Thompson on to Costello on to Joey Farmer Farmer's put down over on the halfway line by Walsh. He gets up, plays it back to Costello, on to Thompson, on to Kerrigan. Kerrigan 
loses the ball there, but oh, finally picked up by nobody after about 27 knock-ons. And we'll see a scrum pack on the halfway line, not far from centre field, just off the cricket pitch area. Longreach feed the ball straight out to Thompson, out wide to Wes Wilson. He's got Johnny Anderson outside him with a ton of pace. <coughs> he's run down by Wharton. <coughs> and he's tackled about 10 yards short of the trial line. He'll get up and play it back to Wilson. <coughs> Wilson gets it on to Thompson. Thompson on to Burley. Burley on to Rafter. Rafter on to Maloney. Maloney out to Costello. Costello out to Brett Williams. On to Darren Sills. He should score over there. Now he dropped the ball over the trial line. Forward pass. Way right back in midfield from uh, Costello to Brett Williams by the look of it. That might have been Searles dropped the ball. He might have heard the whistle. I didn't. A penalty goes to Longreach for a forward pass. Oh, no more time off. There's our lady Amos Bear running out. Uh, who's having 16 jerseys? Great. Yeah, there's been a lot of unnecessary hold ups, sir. Game of football on record. Maybe they're timing it with an alarm clock. It could be. Is that Neil Wood? The Wood? Paul Wood? Like, looked like Neil Wood in the long reach centre being carried to the sideline to be replaced by number 16, Greg Clark. Uh, hope there's no serious injury with Wharton. He'd be the best player of long reach on the field there today, without a doubt. Right, there's time back on. Uh, Ross Peoples to take his penalty kick. He finds touch to about 12 metres inside Longridge territory, 15 metres inside Longridge territory. Setter comes in to take the second kick. He gets the ball onto Peoples, onto Davies. Davies gets it onto Hanson. Hanson gets it away to. Looks like it could be the replacement player. No, it might be Mark Dixon. No, what? He plays it back. He's, he's eating a bit of dust. Hanson gets up and plays it back. He gets it away to Mark Davies. Mark Davies gets it away to Noddy Hart. Noddy Hart's held up there by David Thompson and Lyle Ballas and plays it to Davies. Davies on to Peoples. Peoples gets the ball away to Mark Dixon. Mark Dixon steps out of one tackle, followed along by Jeffrey Rafter on his knees and finally put the ground. He get up and play it back. Comes on to Ross Peoples. Ross Peoples decides to have a run on his own up the middle. Steps out of one, runs into Paddy Arthur, gets the ball back inside to Bill Bulky. Bulky's held up there by 
David Thompson and Lyle Borlison. He'll get up and play it back. Plays it to Noddy Hart. Noddy Hart gets it away to Peoples. Peoples decides to kick. Comes straight to Johnny Anderson. Johnny Anderson knocks it forward. Runs head, picks it up. Knock on, says the referee. Another scrum to pack down, about 20 metres out from Bark Alden try line. Come on, John. Ball in by Davies, taken out by Thompson for Bark Alden. Thompson will get up and play it. Plays it back to Raft of the hooker. Raft knocks on as he goes to pick it up. And we'll see another scrum pack down in exactly the same place. They're only going through the motions of playing football now. Both teams very tired. Ball's in. Taken out by Thompson. Penalty for Longreach. Reaching into the scrum to get the ball. Collapsing the scrum. Whatever you want. It was all there. We see a penalty go to Longreach, about 20 metres out from Bark Alden try line. Peoples to take the tap. He takes the tap. He got Clark outside him. He gets it away from Clark onto Hanson. Hanson gets it back to Peoples. Peoples runs round him. Got a gap there, but he's held up by Peter Maloney. He gets up and plays the ball. Plays it back to Clark. Clark gets it onto Hanson. Hanson, no one wants it. No one to pass it to. And he's got to take the tackle about 15 metres out. He'll get up and play it back to Clark. Clark got Davies outside him. He gets it on to Jackson. Jackson drops it. They will see a knock on. Another scrum to pack down, only about 15 metres out from the Bark Alden try line. Very, very scrappy play now. Maybe it's getting too dark to see the ball. We'll have to turn the lights on if it goes any longer. Just referee the game, don't worry about the time, they employ timekeepers for that. Depends how much time you call off. One by Longridge. Dived on by Davies at the base of the scrum. He's quickly put the ground by the halfback Thompson. He'll get up and play it back to oh, no, Clark, I think it is. No, it's not, it's uh, Dixon. That plays it back to Peoples. Peoples gets it away to Clark. Clark gets it on to Hanson. Hanson. Runs straight into Jeffrey Rafter and Costello and Kerrigan underneath. He's held up there. He'll play it back to Clark. Clark away to Peoples. Peoples gets it on to Alf Jackson through to Steve Hart held up. Plays it back to Jackson. Jackson gets it away to Dixon. Dixon's tackled there by Costello. Gets his ball away to Peoples. Peoples gets it out wide to Mark Davies. Davies runs around Thompson. Gets it away to Setter. Setter passed it back to Davies. Knocked on, so we'll see another scrum pack down. Thompson puts it in. Davies takes it out for Longridge, gets it away to Clark. Clark held up there by Burley, gets out of Burley's tackle, finally held up by David Thompson. He'll play it back to Peoples. Peoples, Bark Alden, well offside. Stevie Hart up to take the second kick, takes the tap. Hart throws it out wide, it comes to Jackson. Jackson drops it, Paddy Arthur picks the dives on it. There's a full time hooter, full time score. Bark Alden 36, Longridge 8. Uh, Started off fairly rugged rate. Uh, a bit of fight in the first half. Looks like Bark Alden won the fight, won the football. For mine, Neil Wharton, the best player for Longreach, and uh, cross up for Bark Alden probably between Derek, Darren Kirk, David Kerrigan, and uh, Phil Burley. But all in all, a pretty tired game of football. Both teams very tired towards the end. Slightly disappointed with the refereeing showed by referee Thompson. Too many scrums packed, too many stoppages in a play that were unnecessary. Uh, football should continue on pretty strong this year in Bark Alden by the effort put up here today by the Bark Alden boys. Until the next game, the Bark Alden over, this is Frank Lawson signing off.
put your mark right there. And we make it official. Town fathers are really going to love this. You know, I got to admit, you're giving me a fair shake. Mandy Packer tells me that in a, in a good week, the ox here takes in $2,000. Well, uh, before expenses, I imagine, yeah. But I imagine that uh, most of that's eaten up from the uh, mortgage payments, most of it. What mortgage payments? Oh, well, Crow holds a $50,000 mortgage on the place. Uh, and you own a 75% interest, you'd be obligated to pay, uh, what would that be, uh, 37,500, yeah. A minute ago, I was only broke. Now I'm $37,000 in debt. 37,500. Hey, but living in debt is the American way. Yeah, hey, you're gonna be living rent free. You got a new profession, a new life. I've only been in business with you two minutes and I'm already Flam flam. Well, don't only think of yourself. Hey, this is your chance to stay in the service of the community that you love. I mean, the Red Ox Saloon is the toughest place in town. Oh, you, know? you don't think that new sheriff is going to be able to keep the lid on it, do you? And you're going to be able to run the saloon as an honest, trouble-free situation here. Hey, and the worst week, the worst week you'll have, you'll probably make all more than the $25 a month that you were making as sheriff. You're going to be doing this town a favor, Tom. That's the way to look at it. You're going to be doing this town a favor. You stay completely away from the operation. Completely, completely. My rules, my way. Your rules, your way. Pot lemon on games, the right to refuse service, gun check at the door, which applies to you, too. All of your guns. All? Play line. Hey, uh, don't, don't shoot. I'm unarmed. This man's name not Blaylock. There's got to be some mistake. You shut up and stay out of this. Hey, I'm out of it. I'm way out of it. I really hardly know this man. Now that you don't have that badge to hide behind, you're going back to Louisiana. But you'll be making a trip in a box. Stop it. Come on down here. What's your business here? Bounty hunters. Had to happen someday. <laughs> 